Meanwhile, Kim is out supporting Balenciaga once more. She has been vocal that, you know, she is still in love with Kanye West. However, she's disappointed that he chose a younger girl to marry. So Kanye West is actually coming out with his side of the story saying that, girl, Kim, you used me. So you have no ownership of who I date. You can't tell me how to live my life. You can't tell me what to do because we are over. I'm so shocked, by the way, that Balenciaga was canceled a couple months ago. But now everyone is supporting Balenciaga. You know, Kim told us that she parted her way. And now she is all mushy mushy with Balenciaga talking about, you know what, she is with them and she's going to model for them and nothing has changed. I think Kim is a hypocrite and now she's trying to control who Kanye West dates. She's trying to paint this narrative that, oh, Kanye's the villain. He caused me heartbreaks and he made me had sleepless nights. But you were the one who was using this man's name for public attention and to gain a lot more millions. What's bothering Kim is the fact that she spoke down heavily on Kanye telling the whole world that you know he was gonna hit rock bottom and he was not gonna be anything and this man surprised her and he basically blew up he came back stronger with someone who loves him and he has been touring he's about to drop his album his documentary he has been doing super great in the public's eye he has been rekindling relationship with people so I think he's in a good place that's why Kim is super pissed. She talking all crazy ass things about Kanye, acting as though he's like the worst father of the year. And I'm so happy that everyone knows he's paying $200,000 in child support. You have fathers out here in the world who doesn't even care, you know, what's going on in their kid's life. And Kanye West is a well-dedicated father, you know. So for her to speak very poorly about this man, it just makes people realize that she's acting a stuck up person you know she's an opportunist because you mean to tell me you know Kanye West actually parted his way with Balenciaga because of that child inappropriate you know outfit and you know Kim all of a sudden she's with them again and I think these celebrities are so money thirsty like they don't care about anything but their pockets and y'all should realize the type of person that Kim is she doesn't care she doesn't give two flying F's she's gonna do whatever she wants to and if she could step on Kanye she's gonna do that it's just so heartbreaking that you know Kanye has to tell his side so he could protect his reputation because Kim is out here trying to pull him down and pull down Bianca Sensori because she's super jealous this girl is benefiting from Kanye because it's not her fault you know you divorced him okay she has been super genuine to Kanye so of course he's gonna stick right beside her can you blame Bianca she doesn't even have a social media platform she's just a genuine person who loves Kanye and it's nothing more than that I don't care if Bianca has power of attorney for Kanye's assets she has proven herself to be a genuine person Okay, unlike you and the rest of the Kardashian family who goes on, you know, social media and drag people down in order for them to be rich, Bianca is nothing like that. So I don't blame Kanye for moving on so quickly with this beautiful girl. Okay, but let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section, y'all, and see you guys next time. And thank you for sipping with us.